Okay, this is the third section of hypothesis testing where we're looking at one tail test. And this is actually where we start to do a worded question and we start to apply what we've learned about hypothesis testing. Right, so the standard treatment for our particular disease has two fifths probability of success. Certain doctor has undertaken research in this area and has produced a new drug which has been successful in 11 out of 20 patients. The doctor claims the new drug represents an improvement on the standard treatment. Test that the 5% significant level, the claim made by the doctor. So the first thing, what is the normal proportion or probability of the success of this drug? Okay, two fifths. So that's H0. H1, what is this person claiming that it's been an improvement? So in other words, that the probability of success is greater than two fifths. Okay, what's our significance level? Well, that is 5%, so just write that down. And what are we observing? What are we accounting? Okay, well, we can see that um, what he's been counting is the number of people on which the drug has been successful. They call the number of patients. So the number of patients for which the drug was successful. The drug was successful. It says it in the question, that's basically what he was counting. So if we were doing an exam question, We've got ourselves a couple of marks already. Right now, this is a binomial distribution because we're picking 11 out of 20 patients or 11 out of 20 patients it was successful. So our trial size, our sample size is 20. The probability success is two fifths. And because we're looking for an improvement, an increase in the probability, we want to work out what was the probability that if there was nothing wrong with it, if the probability was exactly the same, what's the probability that 11 or more people would have been successful? Is that a high probability? Is that a low probability? And the way we're going to work that out is we are going to use our calculators and then compare that to the significance level. Now, we can't work out that directly on our calculators or even use the tables. So we'll do one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 10. So that we can do on our calculator. So we'll go to menu seven and we'll go to binomial CD and we'll go to variable. X is 10, N is 20 and P is two fifths or 0 0.4. When I do that, what I'll get is a value of 0 0.87 four decimal places it's 247 so 25 okay so let's do that so now I'll go menu one and I'll just do one minus answer and I get uh, one one zero point one two seven five one two seven five Okay, so what does this mean? This means if there was not, nothing had changed with the drug and I picked 20 people and the drug was successful on 11 or more, there's a basically a 12.5 or 12.75% 12 chance of that happening. Now, I'm comparing that with 5%. I'm saying, well, if it's over 5%, Nothing's changed, that's normal, because it's 12%. 12% might seem like a, no, a low probability, but remember our significance level, that's where we decide, not just saying, oh, well, 12% seems low. Our significance level is our cutoff point. So it's above 5%, okay? So we don't see anything strange going on. It's greater than 5%. If it was less than 5%, we'd say there's something strange going on, because that's really, unlikely 
to happen. So if there's been no change, we say something like there is, well, we'd say that we would accept H0. We did the accept that there's nothing strange going on. There is uh, not enough evidence. And we normally use this phrasing about not enough evidence. Uh, if you do further statistics one, you'll, you'll find out why we use that phrase about evidence, because it's not actual 100% proof that it is or it isn't working. So there's not enough evidence to um, suggest that uh, the new drug is any more successful successful than the old one than the old one now notice how we answer this question what bits do we have we have h0 and h1 that's important we write down the test test statistic we say down we say right okay what is it we're observing what does x stand for we write down the binomial distribution with n and p we write down the probability we're trying to work out we show our working and we get a percentage we then compare that percentage with the significance level we then say whether we accept or reject h0 and then we write a concluding statement so we must always have those steps when we do these hypothesis test questions Right, you should now be able to do exercise 7C on pages 106 to 107 of the textbook.